So imagine this. You already got your free copy of San Andreas, you know, when uh, for the promotion for downloading the launcher. And then you pre-ordered Red Dead 2, so you got the option of two free games. And let's say you chose Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto 3. You'd think that Rockstar would have learned their lesson. I mean, the executable file that came with San Andreas, it was shit. The mouse wasn't working, it was horrible. You'd think, you'd think that they'd make a change for Vice City and GT3. Well, <laughs> shit, no, the problem is worse. I mean, I just, uh, I installed Vice City when I tried launching it. The mouse just wasn't fucking working at all. I mean, the camera wasn't spinning at all because it just wasn't taking any of the inputs. So I got a fix for that. And I'm also going to show you how to get Vice City to be mod compatible. Let's get into it. All right, so just like last time, I'm going to start with a fresh install just so you can do it step by step and you can see exactly how I did it. Obviously, first step we're going to do is we're going to install it. And I'm going to, since I already set up my, you know, folders, I don't know where I want to install it. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go where it says fresh install, see how it's empty. I'm going to select this folder so I know exactly where it's installing. And then we're just going to install it. There we go. We installed the game, and now we're gonna head over to settings, my installed game, and just like last time, we want nothing to do with the store. So we're gonna disable, enable automatic updates, and we're not gonna want to enable cloud saves. We're gonna make sure that's turned off too. Then boom, we're done with the store. We're not gonna want to mess with our files, and we're not gonna use it to launch our game from now on. So you can head on over to where we installed the game, uh, view installation folder. We don't wanna open that. And there we go, we got our fresh install, and now we have two goals right now. We're going to want to change this executable, and we're also going to want to install Mod Loader and Clio. Alright, so, let's start uh, replacing things. So let's get rid of this executable, which is linked to the store, so whenever you use it, what it's going to do is it's going to open up the store. The store is going to say GTA isn't updated. And it won't let you play unless you update it, which means it's gonna delete all the files that you modify, and that is a big no-no. So, um, I did look online for an executable that works, and I did find one here at this site. Um, it's pretty much safe. I had nothing wrong with my computer so far. I will ask you, please, uh, for the love of God, um, just just watch what button you hit. Because uh, I'll be honest, it looks a little shady. I tested it out, uh, virus scanned it, nothing came up, it worked fine, nothing wrong with my computer. Just be careful what buttons you click. You know, because uh, here you're watching how I'm doing it. I clicked on the, I didn't click on the boot button, I hit manually install. I'm waiting for the countdown. Alright, so it's gonna pop up, click here to download. Uh, this is gonna pop up. Obviously, obviously, this isn't what you want. Uh, please, for the love of God, don't fall for that. This is what we wanted, so I'm gonna save that. There we go. Open folder. There we go. And uh, there we go. We're gonna open it right here. And you can hit the readme if you want. This. This is what we want we want uh, an executable i think this is the retail version and so it's a little bit older than steam uh in my opinion steam is um it's a pretty all right version so if you do have uh, an access to a copy from steam i'd rather you use that executable but um well i don't want to buy the game so I'll, i'm obviously i'm just gonna download the retail version and just use that one So look, notes the file size. So we got 4202 here. And now, uh, once we replace the executable, it's at 
3017. We're gonna launch it just to make sure it's working without the uh, store. Launch without opening that goddamn store. All right, so now we got an executable that won't open up the store, and we also got the executable that is compatible with Mod Loader. So now all we need are the plugins and Mod Loader itself. So let's head on right now. Uh, thankfully, GTA Garage is not as shady as the last site, uh, so you don't gotta worry about anything going on here. So let's just go ahead. Uh, first, let's get the loader, the plugins for the loaders. Uh, download that. Yes, save it. And boom, and then mod loader itself. Download the latest version. Save it. Open folder. There we go. So now here we see. Oh, I, I downloaded. You can see where I downloaded early before. So uh, just take whatever one. Let's open the archive. There we go. So these are all the plugins and the scripts that we need. Let me just make sure everything is just really drag and drop it. There we go. I didn't need to do that. Well, no, no, there we go. Uh, make sure everything transfers because you're really going to need this um, script folder. Uh, make sure it isn't empty. There we go. Uh, where's the readme? I don't want to keep the you know, I like to be organized and then so that was the plugins. Uh mod loader itself. There we go. So make sure you do have uh, the mod loader script and the mod loader file folder. Just to be consistent, make sure I like to put the scripts right here in the script folder. Uh, there we go. Once again, we got a bunch of readme that I want to get rid of. God damn it. There we go. And now, congratulations, you just installed Mod Loader. Okay, so at this point, you are mod ready. You are ready to go. Uh, you have Mod Loader installed. You have an executable file that won't open up the store uh, you're good to go uh, the only thing I want to make sure you guys do is you guys uh, there are a couple things you want to do just to make sure everything's all stable we're gonna get let's get the uh, silent patch and let's also have Cleo installed just so that you can have uh, everything you could ever need um, okay so I'm gonna have all the links down below um, for the silent patch let's get the uh, silent patch for by city obviously save there we go let's also get the draw component too save there we go uh, white screen fix save there we go and then Clio you can never go wrong for having this installed uh, make sure you do it uh, get the by city version save open folder should have four things downloaded. Uh, yep, we do. Alright, so let's see. Let's start with um, the silent patch. Okay, so I want to copy that into the and replace files. Yes, ma'am. And then for these two scripts, let's put them drag them right into the script folder there we go so make sure they actually got there there we go so let's see silent patch um, you know you can click on read me boom boom leave it so we're gonna leave we're not gonna put this in a script folder Come on, baby. Drag and drop. Boom. 
Uh, let's get this white screen. Okay, so we're gonna drop, drag and drop this. And then for the scripts. Yeah, sure. There we go, so all the scripts are there. Back to download. And then here's Cleo. Fine. We put this right over here. Excuse me. And then let's put this into the scripts folder. There we go. So here we have all of our scripts. Here we have mod loader. And here we have Cleo. That's everything we need here. Let's give it a quick run. Come on, baby. Don't fail me now. There we go. Yes. Yes. Now, in order to figure it out if everything's installed, look right there here on the bottom of the corner. You see there we have Cleo installed. And also, remember how before I couldn't get the mouse to work? Uh, let's see. Hey, would you look at that? Oh, the mouse works. Thank God. The only issue here is um, there is no mod configuration um, in the actual option settings. So the only way to know if you successfully installed a mod is to actually play to start the game and just uh, check to see if the effects of the mod are active. Uh, you can't turn it off and on from the menu like you could in San Andreas. But other than that, everything should be successfully installed. Uh, the mouse is working. And hey, there you go. Guys, enjoy the game, man. Everything's a lot better with mods. And uh, I'm going to work on a video for GTA 3. And when that comes out, um, you know, just keep an eye out for it. And uh, hey, thanks for watching.